Sunday at the Nürburgring would be a stark contrast to Saturday for Mirko Bortolotti, a winner of the first race of the weekend, but out before the action even got underway with a technical problem in race two. A late change to slick tyres for Marco Wittmann. He would start from the pit lane and the race got underway with mixed conditions. Some on slick, some on wet. Ricardo Feller on pole position in the Audi for the second time this season. He led the charge into the first corner with Sheldon van der Linde alongside him on the front row of the grid and starting third, his highest ever at grid position was David Schumacher. Carnage at the first corner though, involving Tim Heidemann and also Dennis Solson, but coming off worst uh, was Calvin van der Linde out at turn one for the second day running with a spin and dropping to the back of the field. He came in immediately and switched from wet to dries with the threat of rain ever stronger as the race wore on. Uh, so Fella leading the race in second place, Schumacher, but not for long because Lucas Auer having a really good weekend at the Nürburgring, dived down the inside to snatch second place, looking for his second podium of the season and then swiftly moved past Ricardo Fella and into the lead of the race. He was one of the drivers starting on the wet tyre. It was a gamble, but with rain starting to now build, it looked like the right choice. Lots of the other drivers including Ricardo Fella on slick tyres and then Schumacher coming at him as Fella, the Swiss driver, ran wide coming out onto the start-finish straight. Schumacher pounced, dived up the inside, slowed the Mercedes down and moved himself up into second place. At the time, a 1-2 for the Windward Racing team. Fella tried to come back at him and then behind he had to keep an eye on the mirrors because Tim Heinemann was going well, dived up the inside then of Fella and went for second place with Schumacher and through he got in the Porsche. Heinemann in search of his first podium finish since the first weekend at Oschersleben where he took two second place finishes and at the time led the championship. The rain then began to fall heavier and heavier and this really mixed things up and shining on wet tyres was the first of the GRT Grassa Racing Lamborghinis, number 19, Maximilian Powell charging through from the sixth row of the grid to be involved in the battle for a podium position in only his fourth ever start in the DTM. A guest driver this weekend really delivering and then some as he moved up the inside of Lucas Auer with 12 minutes to go to go for the lead of the race. But Lucas Auer, despite fighting tyres which were struggling after the pit stop for grip, dug in and maintained the advantage. They ran though down towards the hairpin at turn five and Powell had the inside line through. He went down the inside under braking nice and tidy into the apex and he got the lead of the race so into first position for him our in second then slipping back into the clutches of Laren Heinrich Laren Heinrich the Porsche Carrera Cup Deutschland champion from 2022 a rookie about to steal second place and on course for his first podium in the DTM so through he went for the Coos Team 75 Bernhard squad our dropping down to third position been a great run through the order for Thomas Prining from the middle of the pack, the championship leader to fifth. There was late drama as Arjun Miney went off the road, having been in the points. The safety car was deployed. Gottfried Grasser and the team were all smiles though, because the news came through that there would be no restart and the race would end behind the safety car, which meant that Maximilian Powell, guesting here at the Nürburgring, would be the race winner for the Grasser racing team. So huge celebrations, what a story and also an eighth different winner of the season. History being made with eight race winners from eight starts in the DTM 2023 season. So the winner's trophy presented to Maximilian Powell, Lauren Heinrich coming home in second and third place, a double podium finisher this weekend. Lucas Auer. Maro Engel in fourth place continues to finish in the points in every race. Thomas Prining continues to extend his championship lead. He's fifth and the half-time champion in the DTM. Mm -hmm.